Okay, this is video number two on the Atom Stack A10 Pro. In this particular video, I want to cover adding Air Assist. And over here, this is a kit that uh, Atom Stack sells. The thing about the kit, the only reason I'm really covering this because it should be so simple, you shouldn't need this, is that this kit is made for all of their different Atom Stack products except for two that I know of. And what, and what that means is there's all kinds of parts in here that cover more lasers, more models, than what you actually have here. So I want to cover what you need for the A10 Pro, and that probably would help a lot of you in figuring out what it is that you might need for your version, even if you don't have the A10 Pro, because there's a logic to all of this. I'm digging out all the parts, so you can see they give you all kinds of parts to cover all the different units. Now if you've got a laser unit that has this type of shield bolted to the front of it, you already know right there that you know this is the part you're going to need. In the case of the A10 Pro, I'm going to take the laser unit off here so we can work with it. What we're going to have to do, and I think I think I gotta grab another Allen wrench, so hang on. I can't remember which screw it is that they didn't provide the right Allen wrench for and which one they do, but we're gonna figure it out. There's the big one. Okay. So there is a little teeny Allen screw right there, which is only snug to hold in this special piece of filtered glass. And you have to remove that. And they didn't provide the Allen wrench for that. Now go ahead and save this piece of glass in case you ever want to take your air assist off. But what you're going to find is they send you three different types of new glass to replace this whole system. And obviously that's narrower, so that's not going to be for the A10 Pro. And that one's narrower, so that isn't. Ah, but here's a wide one, so this one will be for the A10 Pro. So we know we're going to be using this one, which is the uh, number 1-2. So I'll put the other ones away for now. And they also give you different air assist nozzle ends that go on the laser. On the number one type, for some reason they give you two pieces. I'm really not sure why. And then there's the number two type. In this particular case, this unit's going to be using the number one type. And I'll show you why here in a second. We have to uh, we have to take out, it's real dark down in there, but we have to take out couple of Allen screws that are holding this particular nozzle that comes with it in place. And I do believe one of these fits that. Yep, there we go. I think I'll just go ahead and I'll take these all the way out. You're not going to be able to get that on camera because I can't hold it in that that direction, but basically I'm just unscrewing these button head Allen screws. There's one of them. I'm going to get this other one out. Like that. And then I'm going to lift out the stock nozzle end that comes with it. So, we're going to be putting in this new nozzle end which allows the air assist to be connected and it's going to pump air in through there which will blow air out that hole it also allows air venting from the unit to come out and having tried both of these tips to find out which is the right one to fit it this number two one has a much longer tube where that is going to connect on and the angle of that tube is a little bit different so when I tried fitting the number two one in there, I found that it hit before anything could be assembled and tightened down. So therefore I knew it was going to be the number one. Now you do have to take the new piece of glass 
which we already covered as the 1-2. It and this basically kind of have to more or less go in, sort of kind of, at the same time. You can fumble this around. Because I am fumbling it around. But now you can see how that sits in there. I got to put those two Allen screws back in the back corner. I should tighten this little uh, thing down. Don't ever over tighten this. You're, you're going into glass. You just need it snug. Oh. Here, you can learn from my mistake I just made. See these rounded corners? Those should be here. So basically what I'm saying is I put the glass in upside down. I'm going to turn it around. Move that back just a smidge. There we go. So now you can see how everything fits flush and flat. And that air assist tube has a place to come out. Let's put these... Uh, Allen screws back in, if I can do it without dropping them. Just isn't enough room for the camera and my fingers to be here all at the same time. So just hang on a second and I'll give you all a view of what's going on. So basically you can see how I'm just tightening these Allen button head screws down like that. We already tightened that down. So there's the new... Oops, I guess I didn't tighten that down. I thought I tightened it down. Or did I just talk about tightening it down? I guess I just talked about it because it's loose. Or have I got the wrong Allen wrench? Okay. So basically that's the assembly for the new unit, which you then can slide back on here and just temporarily let's just snug that in place so it stays there. Like so. So with the new air pump, this is the air pump. Here's your on-off power in. You're supposed to put some rubber feet on the bottom, which I think are the ones here in this bag. I'm not really sure. Those are end caps. Those are not the rubber feet. This is the bag. And this is the bag I was looking for. I'm going to dump this stuff out here. So it comes with more cable ties for tying the air hose down in place. Screwdriver. Oh, there's the wrench that probably would have fit the glass. Let's check it. I can't see it from this side. However, it looks like the right size to me. Some screws. Ah, so here are two feet. They feel like silicone. They've got divots that look like they're going to go in there. So this would be self-adhesive. Hopefully you uh, line it up right the first time because you probably don't get two chances at it. There's two. So that gives it some rubber feet to isolate it. Um, got the main power supply for the unit here, which is just going to plug in like that. The only thing left really to hook up, and I'm trying to remember where I put it, I think it's sitting in here somewhere. Oh. I must have it in another room, but it's just a silicon rubber tube, which you would push onto this end, you would push onto that end, you'd bring the silicon rubber tube up, and with the cable ties they provided, you would cable tie it again out of place, and the pump probably would sit over here on this side somewhere like that. And I believe that's pretty much the setup. I can't think of um, anything else. When I did the frame build earlier, since I just found them, 
there are these little plastic nubbins that you can shove in to decorate up the end of your frames. They have three of them, so you can do the three corners that have those uh, to dress everything up. Don't forget to hook your laser back up. I know what else I wanted to say. Um, besides getting the air assist, which I did purchase myself, you also would be best to have, this one's from Scopefront, but Adam Stack sells them as well. This is called a honeycomb. And instead of cutting on something flat, you need the air to be able to move through so it can blow everything out. So they come with a metal sheet on the bottom. This one's 400 by 400 millimeter. And you see you set your down like that. And that way when you're engraving, the air can blow through because this is up in the air. It has a little, has a little feet to keep that raised up enough that air can travel all the way through the honeycomb to keep everything burned nice and clean. And I talked about earlier this particular unit doesn't come with uh, cheap glasses, that you should buy some certified glasses. These are the uh, certified ones to match the wavelength of the laser. Um, bought them myself at 39, so basically 40 bucks, 39.99. And I can say not only Adam Stack and O'Tour and all the other manufacturers also sell certified ones, these particular ones I found on Amazon, but they also have them at the Adam Stack website. So um, I think that's it for the extras. Get the glasses, get the air assist, show you how to assemble the right guide and, and if you have a different laser module than the M50, which is this one, then you'll know which ones are the other devices to use. And I think, since I don't know where I laid the silicon rubber tube, I think that's about it for now.